Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this video, I'd like to show you one more thing about equations, and of course we're in the series, the last one of the series, I promised, even though in the video 7 I said it was going to be the last one, this is truly the last one. This is going to be the last one in the series for configurations, design tables, and equations. And we're going to talk one more time about equations, we're going to end, enter in one more equation in this, and then we'll be all done. So, let's go ahead and do that. It's a tool, so we're going to scroll down in tools, go to equations, and we're going to add one more equation to the one we already have, which is uh, you know, the one for the for the whole pattern. And this time we're going to make the lever be a uh, proportional value to the length of our of our length. And what I like to do is maybe make that lever maybe um, a third of its value, just to be different. Let's go ahead and try that, because I haven't tried that yet. So what we need to do is pick out the value over here. If we um, try to pick up that dimension, if you click in that phase, it's more related to our base sketch. But if you click over here, we can pick up that dimension. Or, I believe, we could probably go over here to our lever and pick up the base sketch in that. Right-click in that and probably pick that up. But I don't think it's going to give us the ability to edit that sketch with this dialog box open. So, we'll do it the way we went to before and just go ahead and click in that phase, pick up that value, and we'll put it down here. So, click inside that dialog box, that uh, cell down there in this dialog box, we're going to click in that equation. We're going to make that equal to 1 divided by 3 times, and then this value over here, which is driven by our design table, and we'll see what that evaluates out to, which is going to be 3.667 for this particular configuration. So we're going to go to OK, see what that looks like. And let's go ahead and test this a little bit. Go to the 2 inch, should be teeny tiny there. Not much of a lever at all, it's going to be hard to grab that one, but as, as we get into the larger values down here, it does grow quite a bit. So there you have it. Those are the three elements that we talked about, uh, configurations, derived configurations. Those are good automation tools that we use. They're relatively easy to set up, and if you only have a couple of these things to put into a, uh, into a part, it allows you to create uh, variations of the same part within a part. So you don't have to create all these separate files for that part and have to track all that stuff. It's just a very easy thing to do. What helps with that are the design tables. Design tables help automate, automate the configuration feature. It allows you to use automation tools with Excel in order to really populate um, you know, all the cells, rows, and columns that are available in Excel and create, uh, in just a very short period of time, a very large number of different configurations, derived configurations, within your uh, within your design table. And after that are equations. Equations can help drive your design too. We only went through a couple of equations here because it's a relatively simple part. But uh, the interface in 2012 was really easy to work with. There are a lot of options in there. And I think you should be able to pick that up and uh, be able to do more with that. If you want more information on equations, just uh, send me an email and I'll see what I can do about uh, putting more information on the website for you. And we'll go from there. So thanks for joining me and join me for some other videos.